Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, gang, here we go. All right, we're, going we're about to go to the hospital. Yes, it will. So she's all mushy on me. She's crying in the bedroom. Her Who is? Her mommy's going to have a mom, be a mommy again. Who's this? Shannon. Me. Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay. All right. Here it is. I'll call you tonight, sweetie. Okay, okay, everybody. Baby. Just one more time. Just say we go to the hospital. All right. Bye. <laughs> this will be smaller, hopefully. <laughs> Better be. This this is a fun. I'm, I'm you know I'm not going in, so it's <laughs> somebody so else's deal. Yeah. Here's where we're gonna. Oh, it just, right. Yeah, it just depends on what the doctor orders are. Okay. And we're not starting that tonight. Right. We, we are no, not. No, no, to no. my knowledge, we're just gonna do whatever the, the ripening cervical thing. ripening. Okay. Yeah. All right. Probably like a cytotech. Does that, that sound? That sounds right. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And then what would do? I wouldn't check you then. The resident would because the resident would place the side attack. Okay. So there's no use of both of us doing that to you. Okay. It's you know right. not pleasant as right. it is. So. Don't they um, have any like Cervidil or something that? Uh, yes, there's also Cervidil. Depends on what the doctor chooses. Because he, he wants just, Cervidil. Yeah, he just said it's expensive, but it's I'm sure insurance will cover it. It's a lot more expensive than the side attack. And it, well, especially know. our insurance should cover it. Yeah. He works I work for the company that makes you Cervidil. You do. Yeah. Oh, sure, it should be free. Or I wish I had samples, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I'll go. I might you should have brought your own jambies with you. <laughs> they got access holes all over the place. Oh, oh, oh I have one that's red that I love. No, I will be nurse. Oh, okay. Um, and then I'll get your chart. I'll give you a, a few minutes to get dressed and everything. Okay. okay. And then we'll get things a going. We'll start, start an IV and oh, all that levies. Really? Oops. An IV? Yeah. For this? Yes. Yeah, oh. we need IV access because there's all always right, just in case. Any yeah, anytime we're getting labor started, then one of them. But I could be wrong on that. I know that said he always does it. So okay, I am gonna put his name on this permit, and for some reason, if she would say, you know, I'm gonna do this service, you'd have to sign another permit. Okay, it's no big deal, but we just needed to have the right physician on here. Okay. Now they do that. The about few hours out or no probably okay. let's say baby's born tomorrow it'd be probably the day after okay yeah and sometimes they do it the, the day that you go home okay. it's nice to do it ahead of time right so we can no, kind of yeah monitor it and stuff we just don't want you to have it done and then leave right you know, we watch for bleeding and speaking of that the, the risk of that would be kind of starting to hang out with Leah right? just, uh oh you're on camera oh, great. Just she's coming over here she's relaxed yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering where little Sarah is. Terry's in a rocker. Being a mom. Just getting used to it. That's all. We're projecting that late tomorrow afternoon we will have a new member of our family. That's right. Little Terry Jr. will be on the scene. Somewhere between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. tomorrow. Should we should we get a little box score? Go to update us on where things stand this morning. It's March 14. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's only about 9:30. Okay, You're a my, of the game there, my, my machine did not uh, get taken off of daylight savings last year. Oh boy! But uh, things are going along quite well. Uh, she started the uh, what they call the toxin drip at uh, six o'clock this morning. I was here to witness it all. I got here early, of course, and uh, she's uh, dilating. Defacing. Theoretically, by mid afternoon today, we'll have little Terry Jr. here upon us. And then it's yeah, Terry was a pretty good father. He and I slept together last night. He set the alarm at 425 this morning, that there idiot. And then he got up and came to see his beautiful bride. She's doing terrific. Yes, indeed. If, if, if it was up to us to produce pictures, we wouldn't be very good at it, would we, sweetheart? You look great. You just really look great. It's my beautiful baby. Uh, There's the baby's heart again. Going on there. He's breathing heavy. She will not. Hey, Terry. Oh. Sorry, I'm interrupting. It's okay. I'm uh, we just got the. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we just got the uh, epidural. Diane, because she was 
she was at like six, seven, although she'll only tell you she was at four or five. She got a six, seven pain factor going on with the contractions. Gave her the epidural. I think I've got all that on tape, but don't tell her that. <laughs> um, the tape was running the whole time. And she's feeling much better now. Uh, contractions are coming at a more regular rate. She's dilated to four, which from what I can gather is four fingers of dilation. I won't get too technical. You know, this is a family show. Uh, so anyway, she's feeling much better now, and uh, things are progressing as they ought to be. Back to you, Ron. Okay, Ron, and too, uh, since the last update, uh, my Dennis and Eve are here. Hello, Dennis. Good to see you. And Eve naturally is being very motherly and over with her daughter. <laughs> and uh, our nurse, who is talking to the two of them right now. But as you can see, Diane's doing pretty good. Yeah, yours is great. And babies, yes. is, babies is better. And your blood pressure is coming up better too. Yep. Okay, it's uh, now a uh, little after two. A little after two. I think the update is the new family members that have arrived here. Shannon just got here. <laughs> Lisa, I think we saw. Even Denny, of course, has been here. Yeah. And we just started uh, the drip. General Hospital's on. Uh, yeah, started yeah. the drip. We just restarted the uh, Pitocin drip to see if the uh, we had a little problem earlier with the baby tolerating the Pitocin drip. And so now we've restarted it. And hopefully there will be no problem. And uh, Wave at us, kiddo. Mm -hmm. And a girl. What do you think here, little brother Shanny? I think he has me in mom's nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> here, let's check that out. Okay, that, oh yeah, oh yeah. The half one? Okay. Sleeping like the proverbial baby. <clears throat> Where are your little feeties? Are they all tucked in there? Oh yeah, he's what they call swaddled. Are you swaddled? Tape recorder. Okay. We'll get uh, Grandpa in. Hey Sarah, because I don't know if you can see if we'll still be right. TJ, here we are all together. <laughs> you have made it after a long yeah. day. Yeah. He had a tough day. He had a tough day for you mom are. too, you little rat fink. But you are looking great. <laughs> She's going to be fine. And now we're just anxiously awaiting mom. Yep. Who's going to be here in another hour? Mikey checks the mail. Take a picture of the dog. The dog looks good today. The dog looks good today? Okay, here's the dog. And here's all the leaves of Gina Mike's that you're not having to rake. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? To live in Florida where there's one season and just growing.